Best of the Internet, 2023 by Daily Dose of Internet. Now, 2023 is regarded as a year of drama. It's regarded as a very hard year. It's regarded as a year of really just dissatisfaction, I'd argue, on multiple fronts, not just content creation, but finance, a bunch of other things. But I figure let's look back at some of the just best internet moments of 2023. There had to be some positive in the year, right? Hello, everyone. This is your yearly dose of internet. Eat in my car, maybe there's something dead on it. Oh, my gosh. That's, yeah. Yeah, all oh, this is going to go places. Look look at this smug. This smug right here. This smug face. He knows. He's about to. <laughs> nice! Llamas be like That's llama, right? Yeah, llamas be like that. That's so quiet in here. <laughs> How did I... <laughs> <laughs> no way! How? That's so How? quiet in here. Oh, <laughs> uh, I need to know. Nobody was hurt. Thank you for that. And that was obviously by, as you can see, uh, Alex down here. Oh my God. How do you even begin to tell your insurance about that? How does that? Oh, that's a lot of paperwork. How did I... What is in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> that's just pets. Sometimes you walk in and uh, sometimes there's just a rat. Sometimes there's a mouse. Sometimes your cat just walks in and they have a bird that's literally three quarters the size of them that they just somehow hunted. They just bring it in and they're just like, here, you cannot hunt for yourself, human. Here, have this. And you're just like, that bird is three quarters of the size of you. I'm not mad. I'm just impressed. Like, how? I, I'm just, I need to know. <laughs> Seal. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, this, it broke, broke the fall for the seal, but all oh, that hurt. Would that be Workman's comp? That might be Workman's comp, actually. If it was bad enough. <laughs> nice. Nice. How to add a... Uh, I almost said communion. That is not the word. Yeah, and you know what I'm going for, Chad. I can't remember the word offhand. Oh, baptism. Thank you. That That's how you uh, lighten up the baptism. About being creative. Uh, creative block. The suffering just oppression that is just artist block maybe because this isn't the text i printed it out oh that that had that story had a beginning a middle and an end what a way to subvert my expectations actually bravo <laughs> the absolute just benefits of double jointedness amazing what is that yeah <laughs> Jesus, was that a was that a hippo? What was that? I can't have been. What is that? <laughs> I think it's a pig. <laughs> it's a pig. It was it was the uh, the the skin the the texture of the skin. I was like that can't be. That uh, that is that that is yeah, that's flawless. Nice. Oh, He's dead. oh, we've all had that happen. Oh, I have this happen on a semi-regular basis. You do one thing, and that one thing results in a chain reaction that leads to like 10 minutes of cleanup. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Yep. There, there we go. Yeah, that that's a mood. I've had that. I've had this happen. His dad's daughter is in the military and wanted to wake her up. Oh no. Oh no. This. I will be. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. That's how you get that's how you get a fist in your face. That's all I'm gonna say. Like I would I have friends that have been in the military. Families have been in the military, right? I, I would not do that. I'm cognizant of the meme, and I could maybe joke. I would stop short of just doing it because I might actually get a fist through my abdomen. Not in through. No, that's that's impressive. That's some pick, like tenacious D pick a destiny level uh, meta. That that was actually quite impressive. I, I bet this video got liked into oblivion. This baby discovered an infinite spawn glitch. Oh no! That's a pass you had when you was a baby. In oh my god! Oh my! Amazing. Never let them know your next move. God, that is a beautiful black queen. Oh sorry. Right here. Where'd you yeah, get this see? from, bro? I love these videos. I love how it just. I love how it subverts just social norms i love how it subverts expectations like look, look at this face this man he knows right like it subverts expectations and i love it it's kind of adjacent 
to uh it's kind of adjacent if you will to prank content which i'm very very mixed if, if very disapproving of prank content especially when you know you start harassing people this is a little different though it, it's adjacent as long as it's done in a classy way and you could argue if maybe if it's staged maybe it's not staged you know maybe this is completely organic right for the reactions you know as long as you have the ability to say hey look you know don't post this right and they're receptive of that hey you don't want to be posted on the internet you do not have you know no consent but then that gets into you know one party states in regards to how many people need to consent to a recording or filming and then that gets into a whole legal mess right what i'm saying just from a social standpoint as long as you have the ability to opt out of something that you don't want to be in that this this is fine stuff like this i would argue is fine or if this stuff is scripted and this is a fixed interaction as it were everything is planned out in advance right something like that where all parties do consent to it go or, or all parties just consent to it going up on the internet i have no issues with this when we start harassing people right punching people in the back of the head maybe oh it's just a prank bro we're in a little over our heads and i do think that youtube tos might be bordering in that aspect oh, bro. i'm not even gonna lie you know what i'm saying bro you left it in the amazing yep that's a lot of that was a lot of insurance paperwork that's a lot of insurance paperwork right there how do you yeah they just just things like this can just happen this this just happens no nope, mm, nope nope i know what that is that is oh god i haven't seen that in a hot minute as far as i'm aware it uh expels its innards to try and digest whatever it's attached to so I guess not dissimilar to pine. I mean, it is dissimilar, actually, when I think about it. I was going to make the pineapple thing. Pineapple, the reason why it uh, tingles in your mouth is because it's, uh, it's trying to digest everything around it, right? Those juices, which that's a obviously an inanimate object versus a being where the being itself is ex much like Pukamuku, actually. Pukamuku is actually based on this. Its ability innards out, innards out, right? Where it expels its innards to try and digest what's around that being said if you have more biology knowledge than i do or even if that's your specialty first off you certified legend for having that understanding and that knowledge second uh i'd be very curious as to if i got that wrong how i got that wrong and what the correct answer is i'm always super pro science super pro like hey you have a specialty in this field whether it be science military mathematics etc right oh you have a specialty in this field tell me the things i love hearing about people's things Oh no, it was just like cat. Oh, it's cold. Y'all ever just eat something, right? You're just eating it and you eat it just to eat it. And then after the fact, you're just like, oh, it's cold. Sometimes it'd be like that though. Sometimes you're just like, like you take a bite, you're like, oh, this is awful. Or you take a drink of like a, a beer or something, right? God, this is awful. But then you keep going back and then you then complain about it afterwards. That's the mood. Bear. <laughs> a lot of alcohol. Nice. <laughs> Bottoms up? Nah, bro. Bottoms out. Boom. Oh, I'll go see myself to my shame corner now. Oh, I'm going to baby jail for that pun. He seems. Oh, never mind. Nice. This <laughs> guy. <laughs> So I actually got in trouble for that once at a job. Man, I have some stories. Uh, I really do, actually, the amount of stories I seem to have. I feel like I repeat them, but then I realize, oh, no, I, some of these are actually the first time. There was a, uh, I, I worked for kind of like a pseudo uh, bartender situation, and I was told we have to ID everyone to let's to admit somebody into this specific section of the building. We have to ID everyone. And that was what I was told verbatim. So naturally, you know, you have this 60 you know, year old dude plus, right? I mean, he's clearly got gray hair and stuff. And I was told like, hey, I need to see your, you know, hey, I need to see your ID and tell him, right? He's like, no, you don't. I'm like, sir, yes, I do. Like, this is policy. And it gets into an argument. He gets the management. He gets, uh, I think it was the head of wait staff at the time too. And, you know, they let him through just fine. And, you know, I asked him, after, like, I, I, we can't do that though. Even if he forgets his ID, like, especially if he gets his ID, we can't do that. And they're telling me, look, he's like, he's like 60, man. If they look over 40 or 60, you don't have to check this, which was it blew my mind. I'm very black and white if you haven't you know, told me. And that's in the professional workspace. You know, I've been very black and white. If I hear a policy, I will carry out that exact 
policy to a T. You must ID everyone. Nobody without ID or over the age of 21 may enter the section of the building. Yeah, I ID someone who's like 60 years old. That being said, sure, many uh, bartenders, former bartenders, former wait staff have many, many stories down in the comment section. I implore you, uh, if you need to vent about it, definitely feel free to share it down in the comment section. It's uh, a wild world out there when you ID that. But yeah, that's that's where you start to get the little trouble and actually where it gets not necessarily against the policies, but that's where you, it gets socially awkward and even socially unacceptable in certain circumstances, excuse me, certain circumstances where it's like, oh, I, uh, you've, I, you know, I'm 60 plus. Why are you IDing me? I'm clearly, I qualify for the senior, but why are you IDing me? And it's like, well, the policy says this, but technically not IDing would go against the policy. And if you're going against the policy, you're technically not your job, black and white employer, right? However, you also want to cater to your guests, to your customers. So that gets into a weird line of policy versus public engagement, as it were. I waited for his brother while watching a live stream of his graduation ceremony. What a Chad. What a Chad move. Oh my God. I used to work in an office, actually. Fun fact. Well, a lot of stories today, aren't there? We used to, I used to work in an office and we had, uh, before the, it probably came down from one of the higher ups. Like, oh, you guys can't have fun in some capacity. We had a bunch of little Nerf guns and stuff like that. I had my little AR Nerf gun. Somebody had like a Barrett 50 Cal style Nerf gun, like big, big sniper rifle Nerf gun. And that's what people would do in the middle of work. They just pop over their cubicles and just bop. And then they just, you know, shoot someone else with it. And it would be, it was great. So one time I'm working, I was working with a uh, client at the time. Right. And, you know, I'm just in the middle of doing the things. And I have two monitors as a setup, right? My main monitor that I'm doing most of my stuff on my, uh, my secondary monitor, my auxiliary monitor, which I'm having, you know, certain chats open on to fix this problem. Right. And just out of like, in my right ear, I just hear a whiz and a smack because uh, the the person it was he was actually my uh, manager at the time. Uh, he ended up leaving, but uh, he was my immediate manager at the time. He uh, ended up taking his his fifty cal Nerf gun, shooting my monitor to my right, and I was shell shocked for a second. I carried on that conversation though. In fact, as far as I'm aware, that ca the call with the client still went over very 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 well. But uh, I am no familiar. I'm no stranger. I should say two nerf guns in the workplace and oh my god is an experience if anything i feel it makes the culture better i mean you have to obviously mitigate and regulate it to a certain degree right like if somebody is working on with a very specific client or if somebody is uh, engaged in certain work right okay or maybe there's certain times where like hey look most of our volume is going to be around this time you know keep it to a minimum but outside that right i think it actually leads to a healthier workplace and it really was when that started to go away that I started to have dissatisfactions with that workplace, as it were, which I actually think there's a few people in Idaho that may have worked with me that watch this, which is a very strange thought. I worked with you. Hi. How you doing? Um, Idaho, is, Idaho is an entire state is very small town syndrome, if uh, if you know what that means. So I feel this. I get that. Nice. Right in the mouth. <laughs> You like it? I can't see it. Amazing. That's clever, actually. That's clever. That is an A for effort. A for execution. That was amazing. Nice. Nice. What, what, wait, was it really that quick? What ignited that? What ignited? Oh, it's it's uh, it's okay. It's her uh, wrist thing. Yeah, incredibly flammable. I would argue. Yeah. Talk. Oh, do so Oh no. That T bell. Do not harass the T bell employee. Their friend was. He harassed the T bell employee. Like, what do you even do? <laughs> Peeps that worked fast food. How do you deal with this? What what does policy say for this? If anything, I'm curious what your manager would say if you asked your manager in all seriousness. So if we're working drive through and somebody yeets out of their vehicle through the drive through, what's the policy for that? I feel the answers are going to vary in range. And that is what makes my day. That gives me serotonin. Their friend was leaving their house when they caught this on camera. Nice. What a, what a Chad behavior right there. I respect it. See, the issue is that the people, the, the owners of the house, his friends, are going to send him that now. And he's going to, he, that was a very triumphant, okay, we're good. 
but then it's gonna come back. He's like, damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, it was. <laughs> he thought he could get away. <laughs> he, he thought. <laughs> Bamboozled again. <laughs> That's gonna go poorly. <laughs> oh, I, I'm reminded. Remember? Uh, oh, it's gonna be a very niche memory. Very, very niche memory. How there used to be? It was the sunblock, right? That had this exact thing with the kid and the dog. That that's what this reminds me of. You, someone is gonna know exactly what I'm talking about down to the brand name. But that was actually a logo. I can't remember what it was. It wasn't. I don't even know. I'm not even gonna remember. What, I don't remember what the name of the brand was. But very. This is one gonna be awful. Two. She's gonna be hurting. Oh my god, that'd be actually pretty painful. Actually, <laughs> it'd be painful for like a moment, but it still would kind of like be painful. Oh, no, 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 no. This person chose the. That was a. That was in fact. I've seen people with Dark Souls use that exact move with a Y hander. Actually, <laughs> this person. Those. That was excellent dodges by those. Though a lot of adults would have been whacked in the face if this was, you know four foot higher like a meter higher roughly well meters three foot right you know what i'm saying though adult size there's a lot of adults that would have been knocked on their face chose the wrong object to use as a step stool oh no no yeah yeah maybe not the best idea those 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 are sturdy but not that sturdy oh no what is this oh my god stoner cat Classic. Ooh! Where's the... Uh, it, it, the new Allstate one is the uh, I'm danger, I'm a natural disaster, right? I'm trying to come out here to get your car. Where's, where's the... Where's the... Where's the, uh, the, the, the TikTok clip? That, I'm sure Allstate could probably make it too. Like... Like... Uh, <laughs> No, no, you know what this would actually be? The, the TikTok meme that's been going around of like something like this happens and then it goes to the, the filter where it's just the eyes, the, the nose and the face, right? Or the eyes, the nose and the mouth. And it's like a uh, uh, golf ball, offensive tackle, go Gators or something like that. that. That's the meme edit right there. You're welcome. This poor delivery driver was in for a surprise. Nice. That is some commitment from that dog. This story had a beginning, a middle, and an end. I love it. It's perfect. Oh no. It's happening. <laughs> Joke's on you. I ain't eating that. You can't make me. Yep. 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 There's some adults that watch me. I know we probably would have done that, and I respect you for it. Kangaroos are jerks. Yeah. Get them. Want to know how hot it is in Australia? This Very. hasn't been switched on. It's just been baking in the Aussie sun. Wasn't there the building down in Australia that actually was... Uh, it was very, very shiny. I don't remember what it was. I think it might have been Sydney. But it was in Sydney. It was a very shiny and reflective building. And it would actually reflect the sun's rays onto like cars and stuff actually causing damage. Wasn't that like a thing? Or is that japes? Just goes to show... Uh, As he puts his hand on it! <laughs> in the Aussie sun. Just goes to show. Yep. Uh, yep. It's all metal. It's all metal. It is all metal. Yep, that, that's the one. That man is hurting. He thinks he's gonna need some ice. It's, it's all metal. What is that? That's a cat. A that is not a dead raccoon! <laughs> what is it? That's your cat! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where did you get the. Oh, no. She wanted to know what a hot dog scented candle smelled like. You know, some things I think are just better left uh, left unsaid. Some things are better left uh, not not engaged with. I, I don't know about that one. Oh. Yeah. What? What were you expecting? Like, what, what were you? <laughs> nice. Her family surprised her, and they wanted to celebrate her. Is that the Smirnoff? That's that is Smirnoff. So you know it's gonna be good. My first birthday. I can't drink it. Why? Because I'm pregnant. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! No!
no, 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 no. Yeah, the faces say it all. That man's about to get. That man's body's about to never be found. Oh. Oh. Hi, how you doing? I had to watch this like eight times to figure out what was going on. Don't worry about it. It's it's got to be a filter, right? Or these I are prosthetics. It. It's Mr. Krabs. No way. Right here. I love him. Someone traded me a uh, crab in Final Fantasy XIV, a crab mount. He's like, oh, it's just this is just gonna be like, here, have the stupid mount. L little did they know that I'm actually super into crabs because crabs are just an absolute chat of an animal. Also, you have, what is it? It's specific with ocean creatures, right? Ocean animals, the tendency to just evolve into crabs. And then I hear they unevolve from crabs, but then they evolve back into crabs. Crabs are kind of just peak evolutionary design, I think. Oh my God. so cute. Oh nice. my God. I love that crab. <laughs> that was a bait and switch. I love them. <laughs> what? What's, ha what's happening? What was that? Oh Wait, what? That was a frog, right? Okay, he's up there. What is that? It almost looks like a s kind of varmint. I don't know. That's funny, though. That's really funny. He's spider man up there till they open the door for pizza. I, I ate for effort. Wall ball! Oh, I haven't played wall ball in a hot minute. Nice! Oh, those shots happen. God, it's been... A, it's been... Probably 15 years since I played wall ball. Very, very popular at my elementary school, actually. Very, very popular. God, I miss it. Oh, yeah, those shots absolutely happen. Sometimes they're unavoidable. You just kind of have to take it. <laughs> how, how are you going to solve this? <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. Actually smarter than I am. Avery. But I'm pretty sure my shift gets... I get off early. Do the zombie scream. <laughs> Nice. Wait, what are you? Doctors! What is this? <laughs> dad medical humor. Very, very specific branch. It's not medical humor. It's dad medical humor. Cat. Oh, oh. That cat just went up. Just yeet. Oh, no. The crappy thing, he's probably gonna get bullied about that. <laughs> School is ruthless. You got a free banana. Oh. These what, what is with our tendency to hide stuff like that? I, I, I have yet to figure out what it is, but we have a tendency to hide things like that, and it's great. It's just like, oh, nothing happened. I don't know what you're talking about. Nope, definitely didn't try to fix her washer and dryer with uh, two cans of WD-40 and three rolls of flex tape. I don't know what you're talking about. There, ain't, there was no dryer. <laughs> People came home smelling like a cat that their cat absolutely hates. Yeah, this happens. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, nice. <laughs> Dale. Dale. <laughs> I love that. I think it's that like, and this kind of goes back to my theory on like why we call just things that are so outside the norm Chad behavior, right? Why we find things like this so entertaining, right? Because like you go to your like your buddy's house, or you go to your you know someone you know's house, family member's house. Oh, they got a golden retriever. Oh, they got a cat. You know, maybe sometimes they got a bird, right? Like, who's got a pig like this, right? And I don't mean that in like a demeaning or derogatory fashion. Like I mean that in the like most positive fashion that I could say. That is true Chad behavior. We call Chad behavior Chad behavior because, in my opinion, you're just kind of one breaking that mold, but two owning it. Right? Like, Kip, why did you drop eight hundred dollars on a suit of armor? It was there. Now I have a suit of armor. Like, what do you want from me? True Chad behavior, right? Someone owning a pig, pig named Dale, dressing it up true chad behavior i've been thinking on this for about two weeks at this point chad behavior is actually quite an interesting phenomenon as i'll call it hey look at all these wieners nice hi wiener too hot for youtube oh no
when you trying to look cool, cool as ice. But the world has other plans for you. <laughs> This guy put a bag of donuts on a fishing pole in front of these cops. Oh, I've seen this. I I've seen this. Tempting. Tempting. <laughs> See, when you get super legit cops that play back, that's great. Like, that is some that's some neat back and forth. I also like that he's outside of a T-Bell. Look, sometimes you need T-Bell. I've gone over this on stream. Sometimes you just need some T-Bell. Sometimes you need T-Bell to remember why you don't like Taco Bell. Why you, why, why you don't eat T-Bell, right? But then you know, another two, three months happen. You're like, God, I'm really craving some T Bell. And it's just it's just a cycle. It's it's a closed loop, if you will. What what is what is the Adam Sandler meme? It was what was it? it wasn't Fifty First Dates. What was it? Of course, Kip is quoting Adam Sandler, of course. Why why would I not? It's like a circle, it's not square, it's not triangle, it's a circle. It's a circle of T Bell. He was trying to force his cat to love him. Over here. Over here. You will love me. It's not that serious. <laughs> Amazing. The sounds from this video sounds like a cartoon. <laughs> I think it's just how accentuated the sounds were, like how just perfect they were, because we have stuff like that happen every day. I think that it was just that it was so accentuated. Every motion had a sound to match it, if that makes sense. Like the expectation was there. Poor cat. What is he mixing? What is this? Okay, thank you. I have respect for this, though. I have respect for that. This is a professional. Please do not attempt. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Was that a braid knife? You know what? I'm not even mad. You know, I have immense respect for that, actually. Yeah, actually, you could probably... Depending on the size of the braid, right? If your braid goes down to, like, your middle of your back, you get three to four knives, and they're easy. I've hung out with some interesting people. You have to understand. Like, there, there was a contest between people I knew of how many people could bring the most amount of knives to an event. That was fun. I didn't partake in this, but apparently the record was 26. Do not attempt that. No! Ooh, that was close. That could have been very bad. Oh. <laughs> Imagine you're on your way to work. You've had to choose between breakfast and putting gas in your tank. You're driving behind this truck and bam, they collapse the road. How pissed off are you? <laughs> at that point do you just call it a day you call him to work go home and drink i feel like that's the call at that point what you guys are wondering oh no this is 150 calories that sucks about to eat that whole bag <laughs> isn't that so sad yeah it's very sad the suspect was running away from the police when a random guy decided to help out <laughs> the trip actually worked and allowed the police to catch up and make an arrest True, 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 Chad behavior. Like, I, it, it, it depends on what it was. But that being said, someone's being pursued. Someone is evading capture. Yeah. Yeah. That's just, he saw an opportunity. He took it. Mad respect. Oh. <laughs> Poor Pippet. Did you fart? Because you just blew me away. Oh. That is probably one of the worst pickup lines I've ever heard, but I got to give him points for style. Creativity and style. Oh man. Context wise, a little bit of a turn off, but I gotta give him that. That that was brave and I respect it. Can I have your number? I just gotta check out my brand. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. And as we're digging through That was actually very impressive, actually. That was very well choreographed, actually. Very well choreographed. Camera in exactly the right place. I dig it. I respect it. That was awesome. And as we're digging through here, we're trying to figure out what's going on here. Oh, I'm not oh. sure if this is a sinkhole to China or what. I think I see something. Oh my. Is this the USA? Oh my god, this is perfect. What, what is the whole thing that happened last year? There was a whole post about like 
you know, uh, there's just boys will be attracted to digging holes. And it was like a video or a clip of like just two dudes. They go to a beach and just start digging a hole. And suddenly more and more dudes just come on it and they start digging that hole. And suddenly you have this giant pit as everyone starts excavating this hole on this beach. That That is behavior that I would absolutely start. I would absolutely perpetuate that. Just go somewhere to start digging a random hole. I mean, probably a beach because cleanup's easier because sand right no this is great this is subversive it's it's awesome <laughs> these parents found out that their child has a meltdown whenever they move with them Moo. Moo. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair cows are weird one of our uh, school field trips in idaho this is gonna be such an idaho thing you're like oh such an idaho thing we went to a dairy farm you have to see how dairy farms work it smelled awful <laughs> when I worked for a fertilizer plant, got to go to dairy farms. Dairy farms smell. They're awful. <laughs> Cows are such weird creatures. I don't know. Like goats, goats are the other weird one. I have a friend. She absolutely loves goats. Like loves goats. And I look at them and I'm just, I, they, we look, we'll stare at each other. And this goat and I just stare at each other for a good, like 30 seconds to two minutes, depending on, on, you know, the day. Right. And I'm just like, I know, I know what you're thinking things. What are you thinking? And it just stares back at me with the the, the 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 different shaped people, right? We just stare at each other. Cows, I don't afford this. Cows, I just look at, and I'm just like, you're a strange animal. <laughs> and we just go about our day. Oh. There's an imposter among us. Oh, no. Oh! That would be very loud. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> nice. Top one's grandpa's. He's claimed that one. True Chad behavior. <laughs> Just own it. I suck at this. My hand eye face coordination is actually quite awful. I've tried this. It's awful. This guy was. There was the one time on stream, though. I went to a hibachi place when I was at the f a prior workplace. The video was still up somewhere, I think. I think it's like deep, deep in my Discord server. But uh, the hibachi chef, he takes the sake in the squeeze bottle and just sprays it across the uh, across the the hot grill, the, the the hot table, right into my mouth. Just just steady stream of sake. It was amazing. I love the. I will 100 percent do that again. Epic. Absolutely flabbergasted that this guy could pull off such a low note. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. What are we protesting? We're protesting everything. We're angry and we're not going to take it anymore. anymore. Yeah, actually. I vibe with this. <laughs> Have you seen the price of eggs? Two double mom hug. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So, so I'm yeah. sick, right? Who Hands knew good. that I could sound like a drill when I'm sick? <laughs> <laughs> Sinuses be like that, though. Oh my god, we've all been there. Nice. There he is. <laughs> yeah, away he goes. Yes, one. Poor dog. Ooh. Mm. Oh my god. What's wow, happening? <laughs> Imagine being so thick as to crack the windshield. I think that's a selling point. That's something you put on a Tinder bio. Too thick for your windshield, right? And think about it this way, right? What do you mean too thick for your windshield? What, 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 why do you have this? So you see, there's one time, right? And then you get in this. I feel that's a selling point. Funny as this may be, as much as insurance is going to hate this call, this is, gonna, this is great. That's a selling point. That, that is, that is a swipe right, right there. <laughs> Sir, uh, you know, I can find the hoppity patum. The poopa tipa tump. You're gonna hop a tipa tapa 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 t
<laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess that works. She had no idea that this hawk landed inside of her house. She's That's searching. impressive, actually. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and there's just suddenly just this. There's just suddenly this danger chicken in your house. <laughs> See, if this was me, you just, you just look at the hawk, and the hawk looks at me, and we look at each other, and we have this moment. And I'm just like, why are you here? <laughs> and the hawk just goes, I don't know, I'm just here. And we just kind of nod at each other. This is this is the exchange. This is not with a hawk, but this has definitely happened. <laughs> Oh no, that's a lot of damage. What's happening? Yeah, it's just printer death noises. Don't worry about it. Every programmer I know, in fact, does have a have a loaded firearm next to their printer in case it starts making noise. What what is it? Cybersecurity specialist. There's two modes you have, or I guess with people, there's two modes that people have. One, ah, uh, yes, I have my house climate controlled and door locks and you know uh, ring doorbell and all of this tied directly to my smartphone app, right? programmers they keep a loaded pistol next to their printer in case it starts making some strange noises <laughs> and it's so true i have asked coders about this and they're like no that's actually accurate like there's a certain level of just i'm not willing to put things in control of just like not necessarily ai but just in, just out there if that makes sense right my door locks are not one of those. I'm not willing to have an app that unlocks and locks my doors. That I feel is asking for trouble. Well, here's it's, it's, think of it this way, right? How many times do you have? And we we can see this at least in America as well with you know uh, Experian, TransUnion, right? Don't they get hacked all the time? How many times do you have a company that you you know bank with or a company that you use? Maybe you got a credit card through once. Like, hey, you know, sorry, we we ended up getting hacked. A bunch of information. Sony actually had this happen recently, didn't they? They got hacked, right? Oh, sorry, you know, we got and it's okay. Where's the accountability, right? Are you going to pay for my identity being stolen? I have a charge. I have three charges that I'm currently for me. For instance, I'm currently combating three different charges of like $85 for like just generic hair salon. So now I got to go down to the bank and I can be like, look, I used to work finance. I know the talk. We're going to have a chat here about why you let this go through. And we're going to close out this card because I did trust you. Right. But that, that's a me specific thing because I work finance and I can do the talk to a degree. Um, which actually, fun fact, as far as I'm aware, and this is in regards to identity theft, someone could open up an account in your name using your address and stuff. But as far as I'm aware, and I do implore you, if you work in cybersecurity, you work in banking to corroborate this. If you work in those fields, you can't give out that information. So, for example, if... You know, we have Kip, right? And say uh, Bob, Bobcat, just whatever random name, right? Bobcat, right? Makes an account using my name, my social, phone number, et cetera, right? address, all of that information. And I'm like, well, who made this? Oh, well, sir, we can't give Kip, we can't give you that information. We can't give you who made this a fraudulent account in your name and stole your identity. I think that is a huge failure in banking if that is in fact true. As far as I'm aware, when I worked in finance, we couldn't give that information out. I think that is a huge oversight in banking. That personally, right? If someone steals my identity, oh boy, they're about to get they're about to get to a lot of hate mail. Is all I'm gonna say. Or this this printer. The streamer was trying to sneak up on this deer without scaring it. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! How the turns have tabled. Hey. Mm. I think your shoes are on the wrong feet. I've done that actually. I had an Optimus football practice. I did that once. It was all no. I'm sorry. I had two left cleats. That was awful. I hated that day so much. Nanny, you might. <laughs> That's you are not mood. A cow. Come home. Come 2023. Let him be what he wants to be. Come home, Lola. You're Lola's not a cow. Lola is a cow now. Just deal with it. She's got some moves. Ooh! There, right, yep, face right there, yep. Martha Luther King Jr. Martha Luther King Jr. What's happening? What'd he do? He died for a second. No, that was this poor little guy couldn't hold on. I, res I dig it. He's vibing. He's just vibing. Look at this little dude. He's just, he's just doing his best. This police officer did not like how fast this biker was going. <laughs> ah, 
that is cool. I respect that, actually. I have immense respect for that. It sounds like this dog is about to charge into battle. This teacher- My brothers, the horn has sounded. Let us get our armor and get our blades. We shall meet upon the battlefield this day. That should not have elicited that response from me, but oh man, it did. Told his students that the only way they could get extra credit is if they walked on water. <laughs> okay. But, but knowing teachers. Yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is the accurate response. The, yes, technically you did that. I respect, and deep down, he, he kind of respects it, I feel. But also, he's just like, oh, I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? Where, Why are you approaching me? What's happening? Can what you, are you not? doing? Personal space. Sir. Six feet, bro. Come Can on. I... What? Oh. what the f Raccoon actually just played a game of tag. That, w that, that was a slow burn. Oh, that raccoon. Ooh. Ooh, that makes me, that makes Kip angry. Ooh, it was a slow burn. He knew. Always the raccoons. No, I will not elaborate further. That yeah. is the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed. I, and I'll yeah. see you guys again very, very soon. Later. I, that is, in fact, how that would work. But alas, in the year that was 2023, I figured uh, we should take a little bit of a brighter look at what 2023 brought us. And, uh, you know, some of the things, the better things in life, as it were. But, what are your thoughts on this? Are you thinking that you're liking this? Are you not liking the, uh, you know, react compilations to uh, Daily Dose of Internet? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know about, uh, I guess, your experience with raccoons. If something else vibed with you in this video, let me know that as well. I'm very, very curious. I do go read through as many comments as I can. I don't often answer just because time and sleep you know, don't don't quite uh, don't quite match up. I also stream a lot over on Twitch, which is eats up a lot of my time. I went through Final Fantasy 14 Stormblood in five streams. Base Stormblood was five streams. I'm rather impressed. And yeah, it's just time, all that fun stuff. But I do encourage, you know, discourse. I do encourage, uh, you know, sharing what you can. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this. It's been an interesting watch through, an interesting, you know, half back through 2023 and uh we'll see how 2024 treats us so far it's a little uh little sus amogus if you will but here's hoping it's better and i hope that you are having a good day if you're watching this definitely go make sure you eat get a snack get some drink get up stretch for a little bit and i will see you all in the next one